Hello again to my fellow cassette tape lovers. I love cassette tapes. Look at all these things I got. I've been doing some videos over the past, God, I don't know, year or so. A massive tape haul or massive cassette tape haul videos. I've been getting all these tapes from a guy named Vince who was selling his whole collection. I guess he saw maybe one of my live streams or one of my videos where I mentioned that I liked tapes some time ago. And he said, look, I'm going to get rid of all my tapes. Uh... I'll make you a deal. So I told him, look, I'll just buy your whole collection for a good price. And so we started doing this thing where I would uh, get emails from him where he would send me maybe photos of 50 tapes and I would pick from those photos which ones I wanted, mostly all of them because his taste in music is great. Long story short, I've been getting box after box after box from him. And the last two times I got boxes from him, I swore that it was going to be the last. That was the last of his collection. He keeps finding more. That's right. You heard me correctly. It's the tape hall that would not die. And it's massive. And it keeps going on and on and on. And there's some good stuff in here, you guys. I'm thinking like 40 tapes are in here. Let's go. Let's check it out. All right, here it is, everybody. The massive cassette tape haul that would not die. It keeps coming. It keeps coming. This guy, Vince, has such a huge collection. I don't know how he keeps finding more, but I am happy to take him off his hands. Here we go. You know the drill. We're going to get some bricks or tapes out of here, packed very well, and we're going to show them to you one by one. Get all this packing material out of here. Now, here we go. The first little brick of tapes. And you know that these are always very well packed. The good old Vince knows how to pack some tapes. All right. Here we go. UK subs left for dead. Great. I always like these uh, tape cases that are colored plastic. Oh yeah. The Roar tapes, R-O-I-R tapes, they're always uh, great colors of the actual cassettes. Very cool. Now here's a band called Strung Out. I'm not very familiar with them. Um, I believe it's like 90s punk stuff. Check that out. Gutter Mouth, I've heard of them before. I think I've sold them on eBay before. Probably another 90s punk band. Another Strung Out. Okay. Somebody I have to learn about. Okay, here we go. More little bricks of cassettes coming at you. The shrink wrap is the real booger bear of this whole situation. The bubble wrap, no problem. Shrink wrap, kind of a booger. All right, here we go. Exploited, The Massacre. I'm not familiar with this particular Exploited album. Maybe it's like a later release. Triple X Records. Check that out. A-M-O-A, A-M-Q-A, Mutant Cats from Hell. What in the heck? I'm not familiar with this. I'm going to have to look up what A-M-Q-A stands for because uh, I don't know off the top of my head. Okay. What's this? Scream, oh, of course. Familiar with Scream. No More Censorship album. Wow, never see this one around. That's probably my favorite so far. Palehead, I know I've heard of them. I believe they're maybe 80s, maybe 90s punk stuff. Hmm. Moving on here. More little bricks. More little bricks to tear apart. It's like uh, peeling fruit. Peeling cassette tape fruit over here. All right. And here is No Use for a Name. Of course, I've heard of them. Daily Grind and Don't Miss the Train. Fat Records. All right. KMFDM, of course. I'm familiar with them. Does that stand for Kill Motherfucking Depeche Mode? That's what I've heard. I'm not sure that's true, but that makes it more gutter mouth. More gutter mouth, okay. Okay, here we go. Peeling more cassette fruit here. What's 
Texas. Oh, yeah, Bad Religion. Greg Hetson. I think Greg Hetson was in this band the whole time, right? Bad Religion. Uh, I don't know much about Bad Religion. Now, Poison Idea, I know about. And is this another Roar release? No, but it is a really cool color cassette. That is nice. That is nice. Poison Idea, kudos for your uh, aesthetic here on the, on the cassette cover. Oh, it says, a tribute to the Misfits' violent world. Oh, okay. Well, I know the Misfits are very popular amongst you punk rock people out there. Bad Religion, there's more. More Mr. Hetson's uh, guitar work. There we go. All right. Digging through it. We're digging through it, you guys. Oh, a few more bricks. Okay. That shrink wrap is a pain in the ass. Oh. It was made to uh, hold its ground. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, first off, we have Joy Killer. Not very familiar with them. I'm guessing it's 90s stuff. Probably work its way to eBay eventually. Now, this is what I'm talking about right here. My second favorite band in the damn world, the Dickies. Idget Savant. I'm not even sure I have this particular cassette in my collection yet, so I'm very happy to add this. I am a Dickies collector extraordinaire. So, yes, that's my favorite so far. Now, here's more Voodoo Glow Skulls. Did I already have some of those in, in this? Uh, no, I think I got some Voodoo Glow Skulls in another batch I got from Vince. There's another one. And here we have Face to Face. I've heard of them. Um, 90s stuff, I believe. 90s punk. A lot of 90s punk in this batch. And here we go. Peel the fruit of the cassettes. Oh, just peel the skin off the cassette fruit. God flesh. I've heard of them. Not a huge fan. But uh, this is uh, probably going to go to some somebody's home via eBay. Social Distortion. That's going to eBay. Never was a big fan of them either, but uh, I know people are. So I will help pay for what I bought from my own collection by selling stuff like that. Screeching Weasel, of course I've heard them. I don't know if I'm familiar with this release, but this looks like a really early one. I'm going to check that out. Now this is another favorite band of mine. Learn to whap a dang with the Raunch Hands. I love the Raunch Hands. Saw them open for Susie and the Banshees in the 80s. A really weird uh, matchup of bands there, but yeah. One of my faves, Raunch Hands. I probably already have this, but I got it anyway because... I love the Ron Chance. Really do. Really love the Ron Chance. Okay, so a couple more blocks of fruit here to peel for you. Sloppy seconds. I got some of them in the last batch of tapes I got from Vince. I've never heard this one. I'm gonna check that out. I've liked I've, I've liked their stuff so far. Fuzz tones. I know I like them. I don't think I own anything by the fuzz tones, so I'm really happy to get this. This is cool. Pink Dust Records. Oh, huh. right on. Can't wait to hear that. No effects. Of course, I know uh, this band, Fat Mike, and that whole thing. And uh, yeah, I'll check them out. I'm not really familiar with them. Pennywise. I know this is going to sell. I just sold a Pennywise tape. I don't know anything about them. Not really into them, but that's an eBay. Uh, that's an eBay sale right there, I'm sure. Okay. Still going here. It just it just never ends, the cassette. The cassette haul, the picking the fruit of the cassette haul here. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Agnostic front cause for alarm. Check that one out. Great hardcore stuff. Ministry. This is a good album. I like two or three of Ministry's albums. This is one of them. Uh, I didn't like when they worked with Skinny Puppy, but oh, Poison Idea, more Poison Idea. I've always liked them. War all the time. I don't know if I've ever heard this particular release, but I love the paper labels on that cassette. Check that out. Black cassette with paper labels. That is hot. That is sexy. Right on. Now, Screeching Weasel, again. I'm gonna have to check it out. I can't remember what they sound like, really, but... I know I'm familiar with them. All right. 
Here we go. More fruitastic cassette tapes here. Raw power. Great album here. I think I used to have this on vinyl. Always like their logo and their artwork on their releases. Good stuff. Broken Bones. Now I know I've heard them and I know I've I've liked them. I've liked their stuff. I think I've mostly heard them on compilations. This is cool to have. Not sure if I'm gonna sell that one or not. The Gits. Hmm. Where have I heard of them before? Maybe a compilation again. CZ Records. Hmm. Check that out. Maybe that's something I'll keep too. Hard ons. Oh, now see, I had a brief interaction with the hard ons when I was uh, touring in Australia, New Zealand with Devo years ago. And um, I like them. They're funny. They are funny. Now, I believe Ray is the one that I met uh, in, um, in Australia or New Zealand. I worked at a record store. So, yeah, looking forward to hearing that one. That's cool. All right, so how many we got here? One more brick. One more little brick of fruit from the cassette tape tree. There we go. Ooh, it's fresh. Fresh fruit here. Not for rotting vegetables, though. For the misfits. Now, this is going to be something that finds a good home via eBay. Misfits, I tell you, if I liked the Misfits more than I do, I'd have a great Misfits collection, but I tend to sell the Misfits stuff because it helps pay for everything else, honestly. So that will probably go to a good home. Now, RKL, heard of them. I like the fact that they titled their record the same title as a Thor uh, movie, Rock and Roll Nightmare. But uh, yeah, I have to check this out. I, I think this is another one of those bands where I've mostly discovered them on compilations, and I love that paper label. Holy shit, man, that is hot times for cassette collectors right there. Hot times. All right, two more. Last two. Here we go. No FX, Punk and Drublick. Of course, that's, isn't that one of their most popular ones? Yep. And then, ah, it's nice to end on this one. North Carolina's own Ugly Americans. In my bed release, I saw them on this tour. They played with Courage and Conformity and a bunch of other bands. I think it was like a big warehouse gig, 85, 86, something like that. But yeah, Who's Been Sleeping in My Bed, great release. I've got the vinyl, I believe. Oh, i got to fix the, uh, the little uh, pad there. It came off. That's easily fixable. Um, I did a video on how to fix those, actually, how to fix cassette tapes and reattach the pads. Anyway, this is awesome. Ugly Americans, uh, Dickies, Ron Chans, probably my three favorites of this tape haul right there. Thanks again, Vince. Thanks to all of you who for, uh, for watching this, uh, this uh, feast of cassette fruit. And uh, may the rock and roll gods bless you all. Cassettes rule. I don't care what you say. Cassettes rule. And uh, we'll see you next time. So there you go. Uh, what a cool batch of tapes to add to the family back here. I got a big family. When it comes to cassette tapes, so uh, let's uh, let's do this. Let's 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 keep the cassette love alive here on the YouTube's and in real life, right? Come by and visit sometime if you want. Check out some tapes. May the rock and roll gods bless you all. I'll check you later.